So one is displacement has to be continuous. Is it enough? No. We need another one. What is it? Noting that the small string and the large string Do we allow the string to move like this? Like that? No, it should be continuous. What does it mean? Velocity. Okay, that's a good point. What about acceleration? So we already have three equations. But what we do know is the displacement, velocity, acceleration are related. OK? If displacement is continuous, then velocity is continuous. If velocity is continuous, then the displacement is continuous, vice versa. What is your opinion? OK, maybe we have to select one of them. This is what I call kinematic boundary condition. Kinematic boundary condition. Kinematic boundary condition means boundary condition has to do with the displacement, velocity, or acceleration. Or other boundary condition you can, you can remember, you remember, compared with the kinematic boundary condition. Slope. 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 Good. Slope. That's a good point. What makes slope? Okay, force Okay, there is a two string. If there if I apply force over here, external force, that because this is a string, the string has nothing to do with the bending rigidity. So if I push it, that it will kink out. And we do not allow that. Therefore, slope has to be continuous means that force has to be continuous. OK? What kind of force? Talk about these two topics on coming Tuesday. And then how we will see how these two boundary conditions determine H1 and G2, G2 transmission and reflection. OK, let me summarize what we learned during this second lecture. First, we reviewed frequency, period, and then we talked about the standing wave 
sine m pi over l x sine 2 pi fn t that can be regarded as two traveling wave. So general form of a traveling wave would be g1 x minus ct plus h x, minus x plus ct because there are two right going wave and the left going wave. And then we pick up the special case. In other words, when we have right harmonic right going wave, what would happen? And we found that there is a dispersion relation that relate time oscillation with the spatial oscillation. And spatial oscillation is wave number. And we learned that time oscillation is related with the spatial oscillation. And the dispersion relation gives us that wavelengths is reciprocal of frequency. In fact, speed of propagation divided by frequency gives us wavelengths. So I said this oscillation provides this wave, and this oscillation will provide this wave. OK? And then we further investigate the meaning of right going wave or left going wave using mathematical operator differentiation and we found that those expression obeys the one dimensional wave equation in other words, one-dimensional wave equation represents every possible one-dimensional wave. And plus the boundary condition will determine the type of one-dimensional waves that satisfy governing equation. Right? So th there are two ways. One way is you solve governing equation and then pick up the solution that satisfy the boundary condition. Or the other way is you just try the some solution that satisfy boundary condition, that satisfy the governing equation. And then select the solution that satisfy boundary condition. Okay? That motivates you to analyze the problem numerically. Every numerical solution is sort of setting up the trial function, finite element method or boundary element method, and then select the solutions that satisfy boundary condition. I, I will go that part in detail later. And then we move to this general case to study the reflection and transmission phenomena, that is typical phenomena happened in acoustics. And then we found that these two boundary conditions will determine how much it is reflected and how much it is transmitted. And then we will see how the boundary condition will affect, or the medium characteristics will affect the transmission and reflection phenomena. OK, see you on the coming Tuesday. And please check the home page this evening and find out the my very kind present to you that will make you work during the weekend. Okay, that's sometimes called homework.